Moving on, let's talk about division characteristics. So, if many of you were wondering from the last tutorial, we didn't talk about division. Well, now we're going to talk about it. So, we're going to write an example. Division is written with the slash key, print, let's do 2 divided by 5, 2 divided by 4, for example. Right, that's division. But as you can see here, we're doing with integers. And if we build this, we'll get 0 0.5. So in this version of Python, it automatically interprets it as 0 0.5. But if we do something like this, for example, let's do 23, let's do, hold on a sec, 23 divided by 5. We should get, we get 4.6. So in other older versions of Python, we will see that this won't return 4.6, rather it will return 4. But in this version, we're dealing with it automatically does it for us. So, this is division. Now, when, so in this case, we don't have to do, in order to get the floor, in order to get the floating point, we don't have to add a floating point number anymore. So, we got the same result. So, in this version of Python, it does it automatically. Moving on, let's talk about another binary operator with two slashes. What this is, it is the floor division operator. What this does means it, the, op the result of this division will always be rounded down. It'll, you'll get the floor value. So let's build this. As you can see, we got four. So we forced the values to be rounded down. So even if we do a floating point number, we will get four instead of when we do without with a single slash, we'll get 4.6. Moving on, let's talk about the modulo operator. What this is, is you divide and you get the remainder of the division. So let's give an example. Let's do 5 modulo 4. What this will do, it'll give us 1, because 4 goes into 25 6 times, which is 24. 25 minus 24 equals 1. So we get the answer 1. And modulo, the real number, having floating point numbers and everything applies here too. So if we did 25 for modulo 4, we build, we'll get 1.0. We'll get the result as a floating point number. Moving on, let's talk about variables again. So in one of our previous tutorials, our previous tutorial on variables, I mean, we will be talk we can actually save our results of mathematical operations. So let's have variable A equals 2 plus 5. Let's have variable B equals 3.3 .3 times 3. Let's have C equal C equal 10.0 divided by 25. All right, so we have our save variables. So let's print these out. So we're in our IDE now, so we can write multiple lines of code. And remember, Python does not use semicolons. It works by line. So let's have print. Let's do A. And let's do build. And we get 7, which is 2.5. So the result of the mathematical operation was saved to the variable. And let's do the same for B. So we do print B we get this result floating with the floating point number. And let's do C. And we get 0 0.4. So that concludes our tutorial. We'll hope to see you next time.